Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So this is me drawing out the nitrogen cycle. It's part of the Unit 2 Environmental Science, which includes the environment, ecology, and ecosystems. This is the big project the students undertake, which is the biogeochemical cycles. And there are five in total. So nitrogen is one, water cycle, the carbon cycle, sulfur, and fossil cycle. Now all play an important role in the flow and movement of nutrients and chemicals around our Earth's system to provide our planet with a basically a working system to support life. So with nitrogen cycle, I use purple as a color to differentiate between the other cycles and it's on this single piece of tracing paper so I can layer it on and off the canvas as need be but I'm starting with the lithosphere the soil and the different types of nitrogen compounds held and transferred and assimilated and changed within the soil through the bacterial activity and through microorganisms and changing from organic to inorganic nitrogen and basically the influx of nitrogen from the atmosphere which is N2 and lightning which can also basically input nitrogen and you have the process of removing the oxygen or hydrogen or adding the oxygen and hydrogen and also adding the carbon to making it to make it organic. So the assimilation and the plant uptake is through the ammonia and the nitrates and the process of changing the nitrogen all the way through the cycle. And looking at the rocks, the lithosphere, the crust, the weather and erosion, looking at the application of fertilizers and additional nitrogen through human activity, through agriculture, and also the influx or input of nitrogen into the oceans. The presence of microbes in the oceans transferring and moving the nitrogen ions through and the deposition of a nitrogen through the oceans into the crust and we can use this as a teacher key and part of the rubric for the project and if students need help they can also refer to this teacher key as well. 